even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. <laughs> what did you do to deserve him as a head? Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? <laughs> oh, I love getting him in trouble. The headmaster. I hope it's not about anything I've been doing. Kids see the headmaster and they run. Has anyone seen my ivory handled hand mirror? Ugh. Professor, God damn I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess, I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. What? <clears throat> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good! Good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that now. Tell me you're drinking a juice potion without telling me you're drinking a juice potion. Room? Scrope's as hard a worker as any has. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh. But Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Mm. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh. But Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Ugh. Damn it. The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I'd best get out of sight. Out of sight. Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Yes, let's. Uh, where's the trophy room? I know where it's at from here. What are you up to now? Oh, hey. <laughs> I am up to no good.
The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. All right. Here we go, headmaster's office. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Revelio. Alohomora. Got to unlock all the things, chat. Revelio. It's a sorting hat. Aloha Mora. This is outside the castle that I was trying to get into before. Revelio. Alohomora. I like the way this one looks. Nice. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Fact of the matter is, I still hear dinging. Revelio. Okay, how do I get? Up and in there. There's something I missed. Hmm. I think so. There's a way to get up there, right? That must be the pedestal. Oh. Where 
am I? Ooh. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need in Is this place as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Can I go in? No. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. They're gone. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? I need to time this just right. No, 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 no. I see a staircase straight ahead. This is cool. How could this happen? Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. much longer. I need to get out of here. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. So many. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. This friend. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Close tight. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. And it was. Now 
now's my chance. You saw nothing. That's the way forward. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. An invisibility cloak? They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching. But this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Mm. Defendo! Descendo! Depulsor! Defendo! Bombarder! There it is. It's not telling me what my, uh... Oh. Now it is. So bad. The way they're doing this is really fucking cool. Revelio. Oh, good. I can Revelio. Not that it matters. Hey, Death. Hey, little pal. Oh. 
She got death. The disappearing act, huh? for me. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. I can't believe she's dead. Oh, poor Neve. Let us always honor her. We won't be the same without her. Hey, Death. Bye, Death. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Where are you going? But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. No, sometimes you have to embrace it. Remember that as you witness my memory. Why do I still have this thing? Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. It's the goblin it's the third magic trial. Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw can... what I did for my father. Oh, Neev, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Yeah, but, like, come on.
Oh. Oh, interesting. Uh, but like, <laughs> she she just embrace it. But the thing is, like that you're, you're taking away other people's pain and, and putting it into yourself, which means you're now being consumed by that pain, and turning it into a power that you don't much fully understand. <sighs> Isadora. Mm. Well, Is hello. it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. Hmm... It was fascinating, yes, but it's also disturbing, again, because <laughs> she's playing with fire. I was amazed like, to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power, and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. Ah, lame. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bacar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Hmm. Now, here's the thing. I don't remember picking up a key within the headmaster's office to be able to access. I think I have to go back. I need to go back to the headmaster's office. I need. I need it. <laughs> Alright, well, there's a message from Sebastian Sallow. For whatever reason, the audio's quite low on it. And apparently from Professor Weasley as well. Okay, let's take a. Okay. Oh, it's a main quest. Oh, Phoenix Rising from Deke. Nice. Uh, what does Sebastian want? Well, first of all, you're right here. So, what did you want? Still four quarters. As soon as you hand up an idea, focus on your studies. Primus. Uh, hold on. Deke tells me he shared uh, with you his experience with the Phoenix. Please check with him. If you get the chance, he has an idea for you that I thought was worth exploring. Okay. There's Sebastian. Never acted so really about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Uh, please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece, Sebastian. Aw. 
Thanks, Sebastian. That means a lot. If you don't mind, <laughs> I've got some some exploring to do. Cause I've only got four more of these in total. Good lord, I've almost got all the wands too. Nice. Still have a bunch of this shit to go through. Oh yeah. Way too much of it. Ooh. This shadow. Did I not get a death mongrel? As well? No, oh, death troll. Death mongrel. More of these. Okay. Um. Yeah. I also need to wait for Sebastian to, to pop up with the, uh, the quest necessary. Revelio. I hear it. I hear the ding. Uh, the quest necessary to get Avada Kedavra. Oh, how do I really know? Give me. Give me. Oh. Okay, so clearly. That doesn't it. Revelio. Again, I hear it. I don't see it. I don't remember grabbing this key, but whatever. It worked. Where am I going? Revelio. And go. And go. Chat. Got everything, right? I like that I could still wander in here. Revelio. Like it's nothing. I say blue. There we go. Stuff is missing. You think he's gonna be mad about that? Or no? Exploration 100% done. Nice. Alright, quests. Phoenix Rising. Speak to Deke. Deke! Hold up. Is this what I think it is? 
History of Magic class. What? What's this? Interesting. Okay. Good. Deek, my boy. First of all. Ooh, yeah, I got a cloak. Here's the thing. Worse. Better. better. Ah, hoop feather. It's fine. I can go in and get some fupa feathers. It's fine. Hat. Oh, again, significantly better. Versus 93 versus 83. So, once again... Better. Well, let's uh, let's go say hi to the animals. Rebellion. Oh, that's all I wanted. Hey, little guy. You guys just ate, didn't you? Jobbernals. Need some love too. Already got some. Where's the other Jobbernal? The big boy. There you are. What's that? You Jobbernal. Dude, hurry up and eat. Come on, tiny boy. That relic is the key to saving Anne. I know it. There it is. Meet me outside of Feldcroft as soon as you can. There it is, Sebastian. There it is. Deke has some exciting news to share. Hoopers over here. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> hold on, Deke. It's a Fooper set. Did I put Foopers in here? No. Yes. Where's the other one? I know I have two of you. There's the baby. And there's the mom. There it is. Yeah. Perfect. Now I can upgrade. Scrap horn. Cloak. It's Phoenix Feather. Oh, even the gloves are better. It's Phoenix Feather. Oh. Huh. Phoenix Feather. Better in that sense. Yes, I'll be losing some stuff. But I'll be able to get it back. Don't worry. Perfect. All right. There we go. Yes. Yes. Fully upgraded broom. Like. Oh, I can choose between Caligo and High Wing. I like High Wing. Oh, man. Okay, perfect. 
Um, mm. let's let's speak with Deke. Let's let's get the let's get the Deke one over with. And then we'll speak to Sebastian. Deke has some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Hello, Deke. <laughs> Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Well, I uh, agreed. Agreed, Deke. Don't get me wrong. Need to... Well, <laughs> need to update my wardrobe. <laughs> I need to get the drip back. Where's that? There it is. Let me get the the drip. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right. <laughs> oh, boy. Search for the cave. Well, what's in Hogsmeade? Think about a unicorn. I was going to say, there has to be something closer nearby. And there is. Right where I need it to be. Off on another adventure, are we? Blockade. Rookwood's poachers are already here. God damn it. Damn you, Brookwood. around here can sleep a bit easier now. Too soon. Stupid spiders. Oh. Stupid spiders. Speaking of which, I could use a couple more of those spiders for the for the quest uh, for the challenges. Those who think that their plan is the sole path to victory should revisit recent <laughs> Talus. Had it not been for wisely fought. <laughs> what was that? It was nothing. You 
Idiot. Revelio. It was nothing. <laughs> you saw nothing, you heard nothing, you felt nothing. I could have gone back in there, right? But yeah. It's like this is the proper way. Oh. The Phoenix. Hey buddy. What are you doing? You majestic thing. Did you not come back? It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. Come back. I need to find it before the poachers do. Ooh. Well, off to a grand start. Where's that gold? Place it. Who's bringing it? Along it by going the wrong direction. Alohomora. See, why did that other one not have me do the um Alohomora stuff? Mini game. Really? Nice for it's like a slide. There it is again. Where? I missed it. Fuck. Uh. Well potions. I've been full up on Wigan Well potions for a minute. I think that's all there was here. Lame. Extreme danger ahead. Spiders. Beware. Well, I'll get definitely get my spider count. Back here. Come on. I say that it's not that far. <laughs> That's what I get for rolling off a cliff. That other one that's back there. The beasts are safer now. Confringo. Okay, let me get the thing. Depulsion. 
Revelio. Me. Some lame things. Donde esta Phoenix? Hello. I'm here to help. I can take you somewhere safe. Oh. Let's it just... get you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. It just lets you. Intriguing. This looks intriguing. Yes. Point. Give me a room I could put the Phoenix in. Give me another room. Did you find the Phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... Fit for the Phoenix. Interesting. What a beauty. You keep it close. Oh, Deke. Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. Aww. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Deke cannot believe how many beasts you have oh, here. Deke, shut up. <laughs> Deke, I love you, buddy, but like, fuck. Shut up. <laughs> hey. All right, where's... Okay, here's how we get up to it. Revelio. Nope, oh, I don't want to... Act. Play with the unpoppable bubble. Oh, look how majestic it is. I want to feed you the first time. So adorable. Ah, oh, majestic. All right, where was the entrance? There it is. <laughs> Wait, where's that? It's awesome. So much room for activities. Okay, what do 
109. Get that upgraded. It's upgraded, that's upgraded. It's now upgraded. It's upgraded, just needs upgraded, but I need to grab horn for that, so it's fine. Okay. Again. Uh Sebastian. Buddy. I need to I need to meet you outside Feldcraft. I'm just curious if anything else is showing up on the map that I need to keep an eye out for. It does not appear so. Good. All right, Sebastian. What's up, bud? You doing this? Sebastian, a lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice? Seems... risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. And we'll only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the Headmaster, well, he could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an Aura anymore. What he doesn't know, 